Hi guys, so there is a update on the Donnie Donaldson case and Noel Maitland. It says a credit card belonging to the missing social media influencer Donnie Donaldson was reportedly used at a popular hotel in Portland late last year by a female. Donaldson 24 went missing on July 13 last year after she was last seen at the home of her lover, police constable Noel Maitland, two days early. Maitland, who was taken into custody two weeks later on July 27th, was shortly after charged with murder and unlawful disposing of the corpse. He has been in custody since and after being denied bail. Yesterday, when he appeared in the home circuit court via Zoom for a plea and case management hearing, his lawyer, Christopher Towson, asked the prosecution to secure footage of an alleged incident, the date of which was not stated in court. In the statement disclosed by the Crown, the credit card of the potential deceased was used at a particular hotel in the parish of Portland and therefore we want to see the footage, the attorney said yesterday. The prosecutor, in response, said the information was not accurate and it was not a credit card belonging to Donaldson. However, she was interrupted by the judge who instructed the prosecution to provide the footage. In the meantime, the defense confirmed that the prosecution had made full disclosure. The prosecutor, however, indicated that both parties were unable to agree any of the statements or facts as the case is based on circumstantial evidence. A trial date was subsequently set for April 7th, 2025 and is expected to last for two months before a jury. Before that, however, a trial readiness hearing will be held on January 14th next year. Maitland was subsequently remanded. Prosecutors in the matter have disclosed that the forensic analysis has established the bloodstains that were reportedly found on curtains and on a pair of sneakers inside Maitland's Chelsea Manor St. Andrew apartment were from the missing woman. The court also heard that on July 13th, the constable took a sofa to a car wash to be cleaned, claiming his cousin had injured himself and had messed up the furniture. According to an attendant who assisted Maitland, the couch had an alarming volumes of blood. Whoever the attendant is, if I was prosecuting this case, they would be a witness for me as a prosecutor, okay? The alarming amount of blood that I saw would be something I want the jury to hear about from a second party. A whole heap of blood come out of the right side. Jesus, this man must be dead. Him bleed out or this coming like them kill somebody in a this. The attendant is alleged to have remarked. Maitland is also alleged to have hired a truck driver to transport the couch and had also reportedly tried to trick his landlord into deleting closed circuit television footage at his apartment. The prosecutor further revealed that a cell site analysis showed that Donaldson's mobile phone was last located on the network on July 12th in the vicinity of Maitland's apartment and that the defense cell phone was in the same location at the same time. I don't know what they mean when they say they cannot agree on majority of the facts in this case as far as the prosecution and the defendant lawyer is concerned, Christopher Towson, because if they find blood on his shoes and on his curtain, that's not circumstantial. That's hard evidence. That's hard physical evidence, actually. Also, cell tower analysis placing both of them at the same place at the same time on the day she went missing is also not circumstantial evidence that's hard physical evidence okay circumstantial evidence would be they can't find her they don't find any blood they don't find her cell phone being pinged at his house they didn't hear the attendant say there is blood in the couch 
um, they didn't see her enter into Maitland's apartment on camera and didn't leave. That would be circumstantial evidence if they didn't have any of those things and she just went missing. Then yes, that would be circumstantial evidence. But because they have Donnelly entering his house on the day she went missing and not leaving, him taking the couch out, getting it cleaned, them finding blood on his shoes and on his curtain, and him also trying to trick his landlord into deleting the footage of Donald Lee Donaldson entering his apartment. That right there is hard physical evidence. As far as Donald Lee Donaldson alleged credit card being used at a Portland hotel, this is a tactic that the defense is probably going to use, especially if they get the footage and they see that it's a woman and the woman kind of looked like Donnelly Donaldson. They can bring doubt within the jury to say she is not dead and she is just missing and don't want to be found. So the prosecution do not need to drag this case on very long because all the physical evidence that they have from the blood to the phone to the couch to everything else to the video, they don't need to drag this on. I don't know why they're setting his trial date for 2025. I guess they think Jamaican people are going to forget and they're going to sweep this underneath the rug or they're going to drag it out and we're going to just don't care about it anymore but that's not going to happen because if it wasn't for the people and social media this guy would not have been arrested so with that being said i do not know what it entails as the prosecution said it was not a credit card but something with her name was being used last year and that right there can bring reasonable doubt in any juror's mind. And they declared her dead. So the only way that they could close a bank account is if she closed it herself. You can't just close someone's bank account unless you have a death certificate and because mr maitland won't tell anyone where donnelly body is they cannot get a death certificate they cannot get her accounts closed because they don't have a body and they haven't prosecuted him yet for killing her so all her accounts bank accounts and all that are probably still open i really feel sorry for her family because this must be the hardest thing ever to have this case dragged out and drag on for so long with all the evidence that they have it's quite annoying but the justice system in jamaica is the justice system and we cannot do anything about it and the people that have the power to actually force change and make laws and do things systematically to improve Jamaican's life and improve the system don't want to do it. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video right here. Tell me what your comments are in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.